But first, we're getting new details tonight on what the new downtown hockey arena may look like. Tonight, a Detroit 2020 exclusive on all of the details for you. Jeff Vaughn joins us now with what he found out. Jeff, what do you know? A few select Detroit business leaders have seen the preliminary construction details of that a new $450 million arena, including the $200 million arena surrounding that entertainment district. So I took a trip downtown to show you what they predict the area may end up looking like. This empty lot will soon be the new home for the Red Wings. Now, my sources tell me the grand entrance to this yet-to-be-named arena will face Woodward Avenue. The structure will be seven stories tall, with most of it underground. We know Red Wings owner Mike Gillich is a big fan of hockey's past. One of his companies is called Olympia Entertainment. And sources tell me at this corner here of Woodward and Temple, that's where the peak of the new arena will rise, just right over there. However, it may resemble the old Old Olympia Stadium. Take a look at these photos I found at newolympiablogspot.com. Sources tell me this may be what the new arena will look like. It will be an architectural throwback, paying tribute to the old Olympia Stadium, where the Red Wings played from 1927 to 1979. If they keep it in with the old theme, then that's a good idea. You like the old school look? Yeah, makes sense. The website shows a red brick arena with a high-pitched roof just like the old red barn, the endearing name given to the Red Wing Stadium that once stood on Grand River. But tell me, does this look like the, uh, the old uh, Olympia Stadium? Yes. But there's more. The new arena and planned entertainment district surrounding it will draw a lot of people. My sources tell me they want those fans to walk to the new arena along Park Avenue here. But how will they make it to the other side? I'm told a land bridge spanning Woodward Avenue to Cass Avenue, maybe even Grand River, will be built over I-75 to allow people to walk to the stadium. Now, I am told that land bridge to that new arena will resemble those seen over 696 in Oak Park. And we should mention that these plans, even that image we showed you, are not official and may not even happen. The project was just announced in June, won't be complete until 2017 at the earliest, so there may be a lot of changes, and the Red Wings tell me that they will not respond to speculation. Stephen, Carol? It still looks cool. I mean, does, seven yeah. feet high and then a lot and underground. You say it's underground. Now, what's going to be underground, then, if that's the, the rumor? A lot of it. So it's about five stories underground. They're actually talking about having the VIP area down there, the ice rink as well. They're also going to have the locker room down there. But what's really interesting is I-75 can get pretty backed up, especially right. going southbound. We're talking about adding a brand new lane to southbound I-75 right there near the arena. Just to get people into the lower levels. You can get in quicker. Get people to the lower levels and right inside. Cool. Yeah. Well, it looks exciting. Don't know if that'll be it exactly, but uh, we'll see. Right. It's a good start. Yeah.